This is a quick overview of our APA style template. We're going to show you what it looks like in Word 2007. We're going to discuss references and citations, subheadings, time savers that are built in, and where to get more information. And yes, we know this video is a little bit cheesy, but hey, this isn't Hollywood, and Hollywood's not going to make an action-adventure story about APA style. And I'm in Microsoft Word 2007, and the template has provided this APA tab. Here are the items I need for working on my APA paper. Say I want to put a citation here, and I haven't typed the reference for that citation yet, so I go up to Journal and fill in the author. And this did, did a pretty good job of capitalizing that for me. Click OK, fill in the article information. And right here is a place where I can put in DOI information or web information. I don't need that for this demo. I'm going to click Save. And now it's presenting me with the citation information. <coughs> there are various styles of citation I could use. Up here it's going to explain which ones I should use under which, which circumstances. Down here it gives me some examples of how I, that might look in a sentence. And if I were putting in a quote, I could put in the location of the quote, but I'm, I'm just citing the entire article. So I want this first item. I click OK. And here is the citation. I have an extra space there. Get rid of that. And down on the reference page is my reference. If I need to put in a citation for a reference that I've already typed, let's see, put where do I want my cursor? Let's put it right there. Click Insert Citation. Double click the one you want. Click OK. And there it is. Headings and subheadings are very easy. Say I want a subheading right here. Let me open up a new line to put that in. Click Insert Subheading. That's a level 1 heading. I want another one, which will be a level 2 heading. It's that easy. The whole point of this template is to save you time and get an accurate paper. Let me show you an example of a real time saver. When we created the reference, the screens where you fill in the reference information, we tailor each screen to the type of reference you're doing. Most programs just give you a generic data entry screen. So if your instructor, for example, allows you to use Wikipedia, I'm going to put in a Wikipedia citation, and I just fill in the term I looked up. The template creates a URL for you, and you can double check that by clicking the checkbox. There is the correct URL for that, and I need to check the history to see when this was last edited. July 1st it was last edited. So I'm going to put that in the history column. And I'm going to hit T for today because I viewed it today. Click Save. I want this form of reference, I mean citation. Here's my citation. Down on the reference page is my Wikipedia entry. Well, that was a brief overview of the APA template using Word 2007. To get more information and to see how this looks in other programs, visit our website, referencepointsoftware.com. Click Support. Click Video Tutorials. And here we have more video tutorials so you can learn all about our software. Word 2010, 
Here's Word 2008 on the Mac. Open Office, Open Office for Windows. So stop struggling with complicated manuals and visit us online at referencepointsoftware.com.